Hello and welcome back to the Squirrel Heat YouTube channel and I've just managed to catch extended highlights of the uh, Liverpool versus AC Milan game. Haven't been able to track down the actual full match yet so if anyone's got it or if anyone's got a link to it, link it in the comments below because I do want to watch the whole match um, and see so I can see exactly what all the players have done but mainly key moments I've seen um, today. Obviously we had two goals, uh, Divock Origi and Firmino getting goals which is very good to see. Um, unfortunate for the likes of Sturridge, who, was, who did have a co good couple of chances. Same with Mane, looked pretty. He looked like he was causing havoc down that right hand side, and um, was just unlucky. Um, had a goal, had a sorry, had a shot straight at the goalkeeper, and didn't. Obviously, goalkeeper got to it, didn't go in. But unfortunate on that one. Had a good uh, bending cross with an absolute amount of curl, and it was unreal. Um, that I think Coutinho just couldn't control it. Didn't obviously didn't end up in a goal or anything like that. But we move on. Um, so looking at the team as a whole, from what I've seen anyway and what I've read, obviously since uh, since that game, um, Wayne Alden apparently had a good solid game. Didn't blow the team away or anything like that. But it is his first game. We can allow him that. Um, I'm hoping that obviously a few more starts or maybe a few more at least 45 minutes, which I think is what he got today. Um, he will start to. You know, pick up the Liverpool style, how they play, and start to be able to play how he used to play back in the Dutch league. How he showed glimpses of it with Newcastle as well. We'll hopefully get some of that as well. Um, so yes, talk. And then obviously we had uh, the only bit that I'm concerned about really is uh, they were still getting chances at the back. Now you look at AC Milan right now. This isn't the AC Milan of the Champions League finals that we know them as and the legendary side that they 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 used to be. This isn't them. Like obviously, obviously we've got Matip out. We've got Sacco out at the moment. Joe Gomez is out. Um, Moreno isn't necessarily being. You know, we had Milner at left back in the first half, and Alexander Arnold out on right back um, in the first half as well. Klein comes on, makes it much more solid. Moreno, he's not doing a great deal wrong at the moment. It's just making sure that if he can stay consistent, that's all I want. If he can do that, then I'll be happy with him. If not then we've got to look at bringing someone else in. To tie in with that as well, literally just this like a couple of minutes ago, I had a notification from thisisanfield.com uh, saying that John Flanagan is agreeing to a season-long loan with Burnley. Now, that is a concern, obviously, because then if who do we have as um, full-back cover? You know, we've still got Moreno, we've got Klein... Um, we've got people that can fill in there, but you don't want people that can fill in. You want people that can that can play the roles really well and develop the side like we have with the midfield, bringing in the signings and stuff that we have. But anyway, quite positive looking at the game, like how it looked like we were very dominant. We weren't exceptionally dominant in um, possession or anything like that, but we did have, I think we had eight shots in total in the whole game, five shots on target, two goals. Um, AC Milan had, I think, five shots, but no shots on target. So quite impotent on their part as well. Looking at it, pre-season game number six, you could tell that we were in like the sixth game and we are really starting to gear towards um, the Premier League season now, which is really good to see. Very, very fluid. The only concern, as I say, is defence. But once we do get the likes of Matip and Sacco, uh, Lovren, those guys having much more solid defence... Mignolet, can't really question what he was doing, but his positioning could be a little bit better. It's a bit concerned at times when they had some crosses coming in, um, quite looping, deep crosses um, coming in, and he just didn't look like he was moving. So that is a bit of a concern. Definitely, if he need, we need him now, obviously, with Carrius being out for two months with a broken fucking hand. But these things happen, and they were bound to happen because things were going far too well. Didn't really have any injuries to speak of, apart from like Matip with his ankle and such like that. Um, but I think things are very positive. It just we need to have a look at that. My main concern now is fullback positions. Um, but we'll see what he says because obviously Klopp has said that he doesn't want to bring anybody else in. Has he got something in mind? Is he going to play Milner at left back all season? Questionable. We have got so many midfielders that he could do that, but would Milner be happy doing that? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, things to take away from today is we had some very good moments of play, very good style of play. Going like creating attacking, trying to get the ball back, and once we were on the attack, it was electric. Their defense was all over the place. Everything was very pleasing on that front. Could have got more goals. They snatched at chances at times, which you know 
that will that will come in time they will start to improve on that and um, just take the time take the right opportunities look for the right passes instead of look for a pass instead of maybe snatching a shot and i think storage was doing that quite a bit getting in all the right positions but like just trying certain things and try these are the times to try them is in pre-season because it doesn't really matter about the result it's just about you try these certain things but when it comes into the premier league season you need to have nailed on exactly how you're going to approach your game how you're going to approach your chances and then how also including your teammates around it and right now our team seems to be much more about building it around the team instead of actually just trying to go for it yourself, if you know what I mean. And I think everybody would agree. I would rather go for the team approach. And when you see us break on an attack, it's it's unbelievable. I wouldn't want to be, unless you've got an exceptionally solid defence, I wouldn't want to be, with our first team, with your likes of Sturridge, Coutinho, Firmino, those guys breaking on you, I wouldn't want to be broken on by those guys if I was uh, if I was a defence in the Premier League. So I'm quite happy. Got Roma coming up on uh, Tuesday morning, like half one in the morning. I might catch it. There's a good chance I won't be because I'll be at work the next day. But I'll probably catch it when I get up at about four, half four-ish. Um, I'll probably catch it then and do a bit of a review then as well. But if you have liked this video, if you like what I'm doing with pre-season, um, please drop a like on the video. It really helps me out a great deal. Subscribe if you're new around here because that would help a great deal as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later.